Okay, this is one of the coolest places I have been here in New Orleans. This is the number two St. Louis cemetery. All the tombs are above ground. It's really kind of insane. This is the, the wall crypts. Like this is the wall of the cemetery and all of these are active tombs. So it's kind of, it's kind of creepy cool in the best way possible. And I it just came from the, the number one cemetery, the oldest cemetery in the city, which has the tomb of Marie Laveau. And I was able to actually see the tomb, which was awesome. But uh, they really frown on people actually going through the whole voodoo ritual to place a wish and yada yada. So didn't get a chance to do that, unfortunately, but did get a chance to see it. And it's also the only tomb, or the only tomb, the, the only cemetery in the city where you have to pay an entrance fee and you can only go through with a tour guide just because, you know, people are kind of messing with things. Now, apparently, all of the tombs in the city are paid for by the people who own them, the families that own them for upkeep. And there are some that say perpetual care. These are big investments people made so that the Catholic Church, because these are all Catholic cemeteries, Catholic Church maintains them. And if they, uh, well, if the family does not get perpetual care, they got to maintain it themselves, which sometimes means that they kind of fall apart. Now, the tombs are all above ground because, well, the cemeteries are just really small. So one of the the things I'd heard earlier was say, oh, they bury them above ground because the bodies will come up out of the ground because of the well. Well, no, apparently it's, it's just, it's small. <laughs> and by letting the body rot down to the smallest possible volume and then storing whole families worth of people, like there could be, there could be upwards of 20 or 30 people in this one tomb alone, you know, just because the bodies are left to rot and the bits and pieces are kind of smooshed in and put into what are called bone bags and stored from there and uh yeah this has just been wicked cool I and mean, it's just one of the coolest places i mean they're also these massive these absolutely massive blocks of tombs that are society tombs so you've got a, a society that someone will be a member of and like they will take care of poor people, take care of homeless people, give them, a, maintain a, uh, a burial plot so that people who have no one to take care of them and, and no one to, you know, inter and keep the remains in a respectful fashion, they actually have a place for these people to be buried with respect and dignity, which is really, really amazing. Like, you can actually see, like, this whole wall over here, the other side, it's all wall tombs. Like, this is the thickness, you could, you could just, it's so unreal, like this whole city is just so funky. I am loving it here. I'm really sad that I'm gonna have to leave soon. I wanna stay. If, if I don't come back to Worcester, and I just kinda disappear, and you need to find me, look here, because this is, this is where I'm gonna be. This is where I'm gonna be.